Hello, hello, hello. I am author and entrepreneur, the cerebral palsy, vigilante, Zachary Fennell. Hopefully I'm speaking loud enough where you hear me clearly without me yelling into my friend Hannah Pike's ears. So, uh, but Hannah is joining me today and as I said, we're friends and so, well first, thank you for joining me for this video. Of course. And we're going to talk and to get an idea of what we're going to talk about, let's first go to how we met. Would you like to tell the viewing audience how we met? I mean, we met because of the Twitter chat, CP chat now. I joined pretty close to the beginning, and at the time I was anxious and unsure about whether I wanted to be a part of it because Twitter was new to me, and I didn't understand how live chats work to be honest, and it was intimidating, but I'm glad I've stuck with it, and it's become one of the things I look forward to every week. I'm speaking for myself, I'm glad you you, st you decided to, over to face that intimidation and come across and join the chat and become a part of the, co the community that's manifested from CP Chat now, from that original Twitter chat we had in December, of tw early December 2013 to where we are now and CP Chat now just brings out besides you know this video isn't meant to just be something plug in CP Chat now. Uh, it's a good example of it brings positives. You always read and you seem there's always such negative outtake it seems or perspective. Negative perspective about outlook. I got look better. Um, <laughs> a negative outlook towards social media a lot, not all the time, but a lot. And CP Chat now can brings examples of how social media can be a positive force. It's brought Hannah and I both live in Ohio, but we're four hours apart, and and that's on a speedy car ride. Um, right. So we're, you know, but CP, uh, we talk over the years, we've become friends, and, you know, we are doing this video together, and just to highlight more aspects of s the positives that social media can bring, you have a great example with CP Chat now that, why don't you share that example of... I mean, because of CP Chat now, I met Elena, and we went to elementary school together, but I, um wouldn't have even thought about it like I remember her from when I was in fifth grade and she was in like kindergarten but that was years ago and at that age you're not looking to connect with people in the same way you do as you grow up but we both joined the Twitter chat and every time it clicked in my mind that hey we're from the same area and we went to elementary school together but without Twitter and social media in general, I would have never even thought about reconnecting with that friendship and having a more tangible friendship than you do in elementary school. And, and it's one of my favorite one of my favorite stories from CP Chat now, which is the fact that the two of them went to school together, but there's such an age gap. But it's like as soon as they saw each other's names on CP Chat now, they're like. Hey, I think we went to elementary school together, and that reconnection, I will add, from my personal perspective, in addition to just being able to reconnect with others through social media, you can also stay connected. And this is something that's not just disability-oriented, cerebral palsy, or disability-oriented. This is for anyone, like, you're changing jobs, but your coworker said you really enjoy working with, you don't want to lose touch, you know, connect on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever social media platforms you're on and they are on, you can connect and stay connected. Yeah, um, I think it's important, like if a coworker or friend matters to you, it's a way to stay in touch that you wouldn't have had otherwise. So. And, you know, that's not even just like, oh, my coworker moved to a new um, position. Position. Oh, not. New, I, yeah, I was thinking new location. It's like 
That doesn't matter if it's just like she moved to, she got promoted, so she's going to be working out a different office now, to the fact that they could have moved across seas. Right. And you're still having that connection with them, even though they're across seas in another country, which kind of is another aspect, another positive of social media, is it curates that, it creates, would you say, a common ground, Hannah? Yes, like, we, on Wednesdays at, like, we talk to people from all over the country and world, like, and because we talk week after week, with time, those friendships grow, and you see positive and negative changes in all of our lives, and you create a support system that you wouldn't have otherwise. <laughs> like, I wouldn't have friends in Texas and Canada, or at least the same friends, if it wasn't for social media, because I've never traveled to those places. And it, it, yeah, it's really neat to be able to just have that support system, not just where you are, but across, just across the, the country, across, you know, around the world, you mentioned having friends at Canada. We've also had a participant who would join CP Chat now at 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. from the UK, and like that time difference, despite the huge time difference, it may it the chat meant that much to her that she was willing to give up some sleep to be a part of it, and the it just so it doesn't really make a difference what time zone you're in. You're able to make those connections through social media. I think too like you learn from new perspectives because everyone brings something different to the table. Like people in different areas may know about different treatments or managements or it's just interesting there's always new ideas because everyone's bringing something different to the table and it you wouldn't have that input if it wasn't for social media. Yes, and it's a third great uh, positive of social media is you, you you get those new ideas. You see, um, honestly, what just popped in my mind, and she's been a part of CP Chat now before, but Katie Fetters, who, you know, when she started, it was Teen Cerebral Palsy, her own blog, her own, like, brand, and then she uh, you know, grew, you know, no longer as a teenager, and she kind of developed into, um, it's her brand is now Cerebral Palsy Strong, and she, the reason that comes to my mind, you talking about new ideas, I know she's worked with, I don't know the exact details of it, I'm not sure if it's like a bionic leg or whatever the situation, but she's had this, uh, um, this technology that she's used to help were enough to help her walk and it was like this new stuff that I wouldn't know about had I not been connected with Katie on Facebook and Twitter both you know she's before she's been a part of the chat but also you know just outside of the chat being able being connected with her and seeing her different posts I mean I think too like um just from like talking to other people, I know for me, like at a point, shoes were hard to find. <laughs> and like, I don't know, there's a lot of us girls who all of a sudden start talking about how much it's frustrating to not be able to wear certain shoes. And with time and enough back and forth conversation, you learn, oh, well, if they can walk in this certain type of shoe, then maybe I can too. And if I didn't know other people's experiences I may have not tried to do that or considered it as an option so there's always new ideas coming up because everyone has different things that have worked for them they have different experiences and when you bring those to the table through the common ground that social media allows you're able to share those ideas pick up those new ideas through that common ground and then from that it just it just strengthens those connections or in some cases like yours reconnections and that just really those are just a few 
of the positives that social media brings. So hopefully this video will help you look at Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever newfangled Twitter, do, or not Twitter, whatever newfangled platform the kids are using these days. I should really get on to Snapchat. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. I think too, like as much as you see how things change and you get new ideas, like I know on Instagram myself, like I see what kids are working with therapy and stuff and like the other day I saw a little girl using the same beanbag turtles that I used when I was growing up. So there's a little bit of nostalgia there too. It's neat to see what stays the same. Like I wouldn't be able to see what therapy looks like for a kid with CP nowadays if it wasn't for social media. So it's nice to see that. Yes. And so why don't you help us make that case for social media down below in the comments by sharing uh, either a new idea or, or one of the positives that we've talked about in today's video, you can share how that, you know, how you relate to that, or share your own positive from social media. Do that down below in the comments. Make Hannah's day by liking this <laughs> video. Make my day by subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. And remember, until next time, don't blend in, blend out. stuff.